the planning director here. We have developed a project with the uh, Inter-American Development Bank, five cajas de compensación, where we are seeing the five uh, most important uh, departments that received remittances. And as the director was saying, last year we received about $4,900 million through remittances, and about 35% of them were uh, being destinated to consumption. So the alternative that we provide to these families who have migrants and that are uh, associated to this Cajas de Compensación is that they can use these remittances to buy their homes. So we have a goal of a thousand credit placements for next year. This program is being worked with uh, Bank Colombia, one of the main uh, banks in the country. And not only, this is not only the use that we're giving to remittances. We have also established a lies with the Fundación Crea Empresa with a tradition of 15,000 productive units consolidated in Spain with immigrants. And we have established a pilot project in the country where we intend to have a coaching to these families with the use of the remittances. and. Uh, Maybe I can leave my presentation and all this material to you so that you can become more familiar with it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Juan Sebastián Gómez. Now we will give the floor to Dr. Ricardo Gómez. On behalf of the Council of the Presidents, uh, he's a civil engineer, a specialist in uh, project management. He's the advisor in multilateral banking in the uh, President's Councils for Social Action. It is an honor for me uh, to uh, present to you our work in Acción Social. I am going to uh, present to you the program Familias en Acción, Families in Action, and the topic about uh, banking access to families. Uh, as you have seen, the director of the uh, Planeación Nacional and David Guerrero, the president of the Banco Agrario, According to all the discussions and all the things that we have discussed about this topic of Familias en Acción and uh, bank access, uh, this program has started in 1999 as part of the uh, social support network of Plan Colombia. Uh, what uh, we wanted at the beginning was to be able to mitigate the impact of economic recession during the 90s. The unemployment rates in the 90s reached 90% and we had a growth of 4.2%. So as part of the Plan Colombia, we created the uh, Fund of Investment for Peace and for Social Development, as I was mentioning, where we had three programs, Empleo en Acción, Familias en Acción, and Jóvenes en Acción. In this way, we provided opportunity to all the family uh, nuclei in opportunities and in the training for employment and to those families, basically children with regards to nutrition and education. The Employment Action Program was uh, finished pr prematurely because its design did not fulfill the expectations, although it was a very good program, but it had some inconveniences because of duration. The program Jóvenes en Acción was based, or was institutionalized in Sena, and there they continue to um, assist young people of level one and CISBEN. And the Familias en Acción program continued. This is a program of condition transfers in cash. In CCT, this is what we call conditional cash transfer in English. This is a CCT program. Our programs that are in 79 countries around the world. So we took the uh, Mexican model with a little bit of the Chilean one 
And in Mexico, it is called Opportunities. In Chile, it's called Chile Solidario. And in Brazil, we have Bolsa Familia, which is a conditioned uh, transfers uh, serving uh, 40 one million families. The program in Mexico had been operating for 21 years. We took the model and we improved it, I think, because we became a model ourselves, thank God, for the rest of the world. It's not that I'm very modest. I just love to say it. I feel very proud. It provides subsidies in cash to uh, level one families in Sisben in displacement conditions and indigenous people with the children under 18 years of age with a series of commitments. Uh, this is a program of condition transfers. Uh, this is a uh, topic about core responsibility. It's not as we think as the assistance program. It is paid every two months and the money is given to the mother, the head of the home. Why? Because we have seen that women are better managers, better administrators of the money. The objective is to contribute to the preparation of human capital with, uh, by um, supplementing the income to the family. This is just a supplement to family income. So they can improve the uh, the feeding of the children and secondly so that the children will not drop the school and go out to work uh, so that this income is supplemented so the children continue studying they are better fed and in exchange the state will pay some money to the families as a supplement for their family income and secondly as an articulation axis for the implementation of the network to overcome extreme poverty so the entire state is working working around the network all together in the program Familias en Acción en Acción Social we are all moving toward the network all together because this is the strategy that has been designed by the state in order to try to get out of the extreme poverty the poorest people at least 1 million 500 families what have we done? The program has started to, to hand out the first subsidies in 2001. We served uh, 22,600 families. And then in 2002, we reached 242,000 families. In 2004, we served uh, 413,000 families. And then there was a broad expansion between 2005 and 2006 where we went into capital cities uh, such as Medellin, Cali, Cartagena, and Soacha. This is the entire sector called Altos de Cazuca and Ciudad Bolívar. So we reached 782,000 uh, families. The national government decided to make an expansion to 1,500,000 families. And we started working on this in 2007. We reached 1,757,000 families about June last year. So we uh, exceeded the, the goal. Now we're covering the entire country. And we're not only serving level one families, but also displaced people through a ruling of the constitutional court uh, that uh, forced us to uh, serve the families in a forced displacement situation. In the pilot test, um, we were able to serve 22 municipalities. During the first phase, it was 368 municipalities. Those 368 municipalities were the first ones with the democratic security policy of President Uribe were able to recover. And as we were progressing and recovering the territory, we inserted all the uh, programs of the state there, and one of them was Familias en Acción. In 2004, we got to uh, 627 municipalities. 
So we got to 847 municipalities, and for that 1,500,000 families, we were serving the entire uh, com country except for seven municipalities. So how is the goal for the 3 million, the new goal set by the government, by the national government up to November 2008, we had reached 1,792,000 families.